All right. So I just did this whole worksheet and let me show you. I just did the whole worksheet, not the whole worksheet because I'm not doing the whole worksheet for you guys. I am showing you how to do stuff. And I'm gonna show you this in just a second, but this might be more important. But anyways, I just did this whole thing and I forgot to hit record. So I'm doing it again, okay? And actually, why don't I do other ones? Because I just explained how to do all that, but we can just do the next row and you can copy that down. Um, because the answers are going to be in the back any, I mean, the next page anyways, but I might as well show you how to do it. Um, this is going to be a fun, interesting week as I try to teach you through this. All right. So the other thing that I just had up um, was this, um, which I got right off the MCPS website. <clears throat> so if you want to know any information, I know some of y'all knew before I did, well, before we knew. Um, that we were going to close for two weeks. Um, there was like a rumor going around school. You guys ended up being right, but you weren't right until they did it. So I guess it was a premonition. It wasn't a factual thing. Anyways, if you were trying to find the up-to-date information, go to the Montgomery Public Schools website. Um, as of right now, we are close until the 27th. Uh, today's the 15th. Um, we don't know what's happening after yet. So maybe by the time you see this, you already know what's happening. Um, but um, you know, if you're watching this on like the 15th, 16th, 17th, and you um, usually get lunch at school, and if they don't have it, and like if you guys need something, they're having grab and go lunches, and that information is on MCPS website. So look here for the updates, but as well as you can go on here and find out when the grab and go meals are. So um, you have these schools. Now, as far as I know, it doesn't matter. Like you can be a high school student and go to an elementary school and get some lunch, right? Um, you don't have to be a student at that school because otherwise we'd have to have a lunch with one. Um, they probably just picked local, like, you know, center ones, I'm guessing. Um, so go and get some lunch, guys. Um, they're open um, Monday through Friday, 11 to 1. Um, so if you normally get lunch and you're one neat lunch, here it is. Uh, okay, so that's all on the MCPS website. Um, nothing new so far. Uh, there may be later, um, but nothing yet. All right, because that's the most important thing. All right, so let me show you, hopefully in about 10 minutes, um, how to do this wet sheet. Now, there's some answers there for you, la la la, that's fine. Um, you could have done this sheet actually probably before you did the one this one, let me pick it up. This one that's in there, it's 2A. Um, on this one, we found the factors and did the addition. Um, we did some of them. If you haven't watched that video yet, you could watch that first. Or you can flip your paper over um, and hear the answers there. Um, or flip your paper over and do this first. Uh, it doesn't really matter which one you do because we're doing the same thing. All right. So, All right. If you watch that other one, you will know that these, that multiplication happens on the top and addition happens on the bottom, right? So what we did on the other pages, we had these two. We had this one, which I'll call AC, and this one, which is B, which well, you'll see later on what that means. Um, so AC is up here. So that means that this number times this number is going to be there. So in this case, it's 10 times 8, which is 80. Um, and then the bottom, um, that is the addition, right? So we say, since this is positive 10, and that is positive 8, 10 plus 8 is 18, right? So what we did on the other pages, we went backwards. We knew this, and we knew that, and we figured out what the factors were, um, and then um, filled in the side ones. Um, so it would make sense almost to do the other one. Um, do this one first because you're doing the opposite and it kind of makes more sense because I'm going to multiply negative seven times 11. Well, negative times a positive is a negative. Seven times 11 is 77. On the bottom, it's addition. So I do negative seven plus 11, which is four. All right. And if you're still struggling with adding positive and negative integers, let me know um, because I can do a video to show you guys how to do that. Um, in a couple different ways, and that might be helpful for you. So email me. All right.
multiply top, add on the bottom. 6 times negative 7, negative 42. 6 plus negative 7, negative 1. And finally, and I think we're getting this, um, negative 11 times, excuse me, positive 11 times negative 11 is negative 121. Don't be afraid to use some decimals, right? 11 times negative 11, negative 121. Desmos is wonderful. You can use this one, you can use the graphing one. You can actually put it right in the graphing. Um, if that's the first one you use, that's cool. I know that's what you do in this day. Um, I just have the old board marked. Um, but if I do 11 times negative 11, it's gonna give you the answer there, so it doesn't matter. Um, and then I think you can actually do more with like tables and stuff. No, nope, that's not what I meant to do. Um, no. Oh, <laughs> add table and folder and image and things like that. So if I wanted to look at a table for like, um, you know, linear equations, that's there. And quadratics, so we'll play with it in a little bit. Make a video once I'm 100% on. Um, all right, so positive 11, uh, we're going to add for the bottom positive 11. Minus 11 is that zero, right? So that was like one half of a page. Okay, so that's that. And then they kind of switch it up down here for us. So we're gonna do this row again. You're gonna see it for the first time, but this is again for me because I just did it in Project Record. Okay, so on this one now, it's still multiply the top, add on the bottom, and I wanna know what two numbers multiply to negative 24. Well, positive 12, so positive and a negative, that means that positive times a negative is a negative. And 12 times what is 24? 12 times two is 24, okay? Then you fill in the other hole, and maybe that's why it makes it hard, but I think you guys are good on it. Um, we add those, so positive 12 minus two is 10. Okay, number 18. So they just gave us the other one. They gave us the addition one as opposed to the multiplication, and we just have to figure out what's what. So addition is 12, so two plus what? makes 12, so two plus two plus x equals 12, x is going to equal to 10. So subtracted two, subtracted two, right? So this would have to be 10, um, and then we have to multiply, so two times 10 is 20, all right? Clean that all up. If you're like, no, don't erase it. <laughs> you can pause the video. Please pause the video. Um, as much as you'd like to, rewind it. Watch it a million times. Listen to me speak English. Guys, I am, did I tell you, I may have told you in the last video, or may have told you when I was in recording, um, trying Spanish. Got Rosetta Stone on my phone. Thank you, grad school. And I'm learning. Hooray. Um, except for my kids trying to run up and talk to me. Okay. See, I still do the size, but I'm talking to myself. Okay. Again, I wanted to add to zero. Oops. Add to zero and multiply to something else. So what plus eight is zero? Uh, I can subtract eight on both sides. X equals negative eight. You may have known that already. Skip ahead 10 seconds negative eight, um, and then I multiply these two together. Negative eight times positive eight is a negative 64. All right, and the little, oh, it's another addition one. I want to do another multiplication one because I set up the equation here. Oh, look at that, it goes back to the middle of those. I set up the equation here and it didn't set up here, so I'm gonna do 21 instead. Um, all right, because I wanted to show you. Um, so we don't know what this is, so I'm gonna call it x for a second. So what I know is that seven, times x equals negative 21. So if I wanna figure out what x is, divide both sides by seven, and x equals negative three, right? So I can take out my x, I can plug in a negative three, and then what happens down here, that's, oh, that was left over from the other one. I was like, that is not addition, that's multiplication. The addition down here would be seven plus negative three is four, all right? So, Feel free to set up equations, do things like that. Okay, so I think that that was about 10 minutes. Um, 
and those were some of the problems. So these are all on the drive. You can access them. Um, and uh, so you'll right now, um, I'll, I'll have to copy it right now. It's just in one period, but I'll put it in every period. Um, and you can uh, do that work yourself. Um, my goal, my idea right now is that uh, you guys already have a copy of this. Um, and then I will uh, send out, get copies for when we get back to school, we'll have copies um, of the worksheets and you can just watch these videos and learn and fill in and then we're in class together. So during that time, you can ask me questions. Um, and then, um, yeah, so you can kind of start to work at your own pace. And then also that means if this gets extended, which it possibly could, um, you can um, still get the math, right? I know some of you are like, huh, I'm not gonna do it. Um, and, and that's okay because some of you are not doing it because you have other obligations, you're taking care of family, taking care of, you know, um, maybe little ones when, when we're out of school. Um, and some of you need a break and, you know, there's a lot happening. Um, if you're doing nothing, um, I please don't be going out too much. I know that you, you know, you're hearing a lot of people like, oh, I'm going to do this. It's like vacation. It's not a vacation right now. Social distancing is hugely beneficial. We're trying to flatten the curve, right? Um, I talked to you guys about it, um, in school, um, about like the lunch rush, right? If every single person in the whole entire school went to the lunchroom, right at, um, I don't know if I want to see my face this close, but if everyone ran to the lunchroom right at uh, the bell after fourth period and 1,800 kids were trying to get lunch at one moment, um, the cafeteria couldn't be at capacity, right? Like it, it, couldn't, it couldn't fulfill your needs. It couldn't feed you, right? Um, so what social distancing does is it makes it so, just like you guys often, I know the kids that eat in my room, um, some of them will wait 10 minutes before they go down to the lunchroom because they know the line will die down a little bit. Some of you guys wait until, you know, five minutes before the bell and then you bring your lunch to my class, which I'm totally fine with. Um, you're extending, you're leveling the curve. So, um, so do that right now, which means staying at home as much as you can. Um, I know some of you don't have that option. If you don't overwash your hands, you know, like, keep your hands away from your face, uh, all those things, because um, they do make a big difference with, you know, how long this thing lasts. And um, you just need to take care of yourself, take care of each other, um, and social distance, okay? You guys talk on the phone anyways, Facebook, no, just kidding, right? Who laughed at me and said that Facebook's full of people? I remember who it was. Um, I'm old, um, but um, you have, TikTok, you have Snapchat, like do those things for now. I mean, even when you guys are together, you do that. So distance, okay? Um, don't worry, but distance, be prepared, right? It's like Girl Scouts, Boy Scouts, I never do either. Anyways, there's that one. If you don't want to listen to me talk, you can always fast forward through that. Um, that's okay. And I will see you guys soon, I hope. Take care. Bye.